Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the beautiful Scorpio Collective. I will. Everyone is peace. Everyone is bliss. Everyone is enjoying their Tuesday. Today is going to be just a general read. We're going to see what's coming and going out, going on. Pick up on the energy See if there's anything lurking. See what could potentially be coming in. And this is going to be, of course, a deep dive. I uh, definitely appreciate all of you who are returning. You already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. To any of you out there that may be new, welcome to the channel. I will that the messages resonate for you. And I also hope that you all choose to stay a while. Um... My name is Q. If you are new, um, I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background and those messages that come out in the song uh, will also correlate with what's coming out with the tarot cards as well as what I may be channeling intuitively at that time. Um, right now we have King Tubby. And this is called African Roots. Uh, so some of you all, um, I automatically hear, have African uh, ancestry. Um, some of you could be doing like Ancestors.com. You could be checking on, you know, like your genetics. You know how you could send, um, you know, your, you could be getting genetic testing to see what your lineage is, you know, um, and a lot of you are discovering that you have African roots. Uh, some of you could even be um, of Caucasian descent and you're discovering that you have African roots. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, we are all one. Um, so, you know, maybe some of you all are doing something like Ancestry.com or you're doing something with your DNA to discover um, that you indeed have some sort of African, um, some African roots. Um, I also feel with King, this could represent like masculine energy. Maybe some of you, uh, maybe some of you lost like a masculine energy. It could be like the father of your child. Maybe some of you have, um, you know, just lost like the children's father or a child's father. Uh, and maybe you're doing it for um, the child just so that the child will know, you know, where they come from or from whom they come from. They will have a better understanding of, you know, that legacy that they are to uphold. Um, I'm picking up on that. That's that's a different message. That could be just for a select few. Um, I'm strongly feeling someone's pregnant. Um, someone just lost a child's father. Um, and maybe there's some sort of um, just trying to, I heard reference point. So maybe some of you are looking f into someone's um, history, you know, genetics, and you're discovering something. Maybe some of y'all are taking some sort of um, DNA testing to just to confirm that who you think is the child's father is indeed the child's father. Um, maybe some of y'all are discovering that you're not someone's um, baby daddy, you know, uh, because of whatever the DNS, DNA testing um, that came back. It, it, it showed that the child was of African descent and not of perhaps I'm hearing Irish. Um, so maybe some of y'all see that a child is very melanated. Um, this could be some, you know, some of you who are not of... Um, you know, um, who are not melanated, who are not Moors, you know, who are not, uh, as some would call African American or, you know, um, so, you know, if you fall in the line of anything, anyone else like Asian descent, um, even, even Spaniard, you know, uh, French, whatever, it's like, you're finding out that a child isn't yours because of the African root roots. So it's like, you could tell when it tell when a child has, um, is a more, you know, is, is melanated. You could tell when there's something else going on apart from if that child was just full blooded, you know, Caucasian. I hope that makes sense. That's just how it's coming. So somebody's discovering that the child they thought was theirs 
is in fact someone else's because of their African roots, African features, something about the child is showing that it isn't someone else's. It's, you know, it's clear as day. It's, it's very obvious or very apparent. So that could be for someone else. Um, so that message is, um, just a download, but we're going to take a deeper dive, see what comes out with the cards. Um, so a little about me, I, uh, my readings, <laughs> I couldn't get the words out, <laughs> um, but my readings are general. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So please check your moon, check your rising, check your other placements so that you could get a more clear and concise message for you. Okay. My readings are also timeless. So regardless of when you find yourselves clicking on the video, that was the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, we have simply read singing, uh, holding back the years. Um, so I do feel some of you all, uh, may have felt slighted, may have felt, um, kind of chained, imprisoned, enslaved, duped, I'm hearing, because maybe you all were taking care of a child that you thought was yours, but you're coming to find out after some sort of testing, after some sort of DNA testing, that the child isn't yours. And, and it's like, it's, it's hard to get back time that was lost, you know, um, but th that's just, I don't know why this message keeps coming back. But for many of you all holding back the years, um, I do feel like some of you all were uh, kind of stuck in some sort of karmic cycle. There was almo almost like that wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. It was like a cycle complete, like constantly going around and around. Maybe you was dealing with somebody that had you in some sort of emotional roller coaster ride. Um, a lot of mixed signals, confusion, gaslighting, duping, trickery, just, just games I'm just picking up on some manipulative energy and this kept you holding on but it also kept you in a cycle where there was a lot of lost time and energy um, with a particular person because it just resulted in nothing it was just like you put up you put into that connection everything you had but nothing was ever reciprocated that other person did not match your energy, your vibration, didn't even have the same vision for the connection that you may have had. So you felt like, you know, for many of you, like you were being held back, um, like you were being anchored to some degree. Um, it could have even been an imprisonment of your own thoughts. Um, maybe some of you suffered from depression. Maybe you suffered from insecurity, lack of confidence, um, and it was due in part to someone really beating you down verbally or just kind of duping you. I just feel a trickster on your hands, somebody who plays a lot of games. They pride themselves. This is someone who's proud of being like a player, proud of, you know, being able to string people along and, 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 and hurt people. Um, and it's because they're hurting. So it's almost like, you know, that child, you know, that, that childish type of energy. Well, I'm hurting, so I'm going to hurt you. Or if I can't have fun, you're not going to have fun. It's just kind of like that type of energy. Let tick for tack type of type of vibration that I'm picking up, but I'm not, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a digress <laughs> because I could keep going and going with this. You already know. So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we have right now... Um, the blackbirds, and this is called Love So Fine. So there's absolutely, you know, an energy of you all kind of like, you know, learning to love yourselves, you know, learning to love you more, um, doing fine without certain people that you are starting to realize didn't really 
you know, have good intentions for you, didn't really want to see um, you succeed. Uh, so I feel like you're doing better without certain people because maybe there was some sort of epiphany. Um, I also feel there was a sense of protection. It's almost like, you know, whatever rejection it was meant and designed for your protection um, because I already feel there was a lot of time and energy wasted on something and I feel like maybe a truth came out to free you from something that was keeping you stuck and stagnant because I kept feeling like someone was chained someone was uh, like really anchored imprisoned I felt enslavement so I feel like maybe a truth a aha like something came to light um, that's going to break some sort of cycle break some sort of um, silical circumstance. Like it was just kind of like I was picking up like wash, rinse, repeat. So it's just like, a, you know, it's just a constant, um, you know, and repetitious type of experience, you know, a lot of confusion, a lot of, of illusion. Um, and it was because someone was, um, was causing this. So it was very intentional, um, whatever this is that I'm picking up on. So let's go ahead, delve into the reading. I'm going to pick up my numerology deck. We're going to see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, self-discipline, you beautiful souls. So a lot of you all have learned um, self-respect, you know, to stand up for yourselves, to stand your ground, you know, to stand in your truth. You know, to not back down from whatever it is you feel um, is adequate for you, what you feel is best for you. So self-discipline, this is you. You've learned, you know, um, how to really uh, tap in. I feel like you started to do more meditating, more connecting, um, you know, speaking mantras, visualization tactics. You really started to tap into that magi, that alchemist type of energy. This is about spiritual strength because 541 reduces to 5. That's the hierophant. And so I do feel many of you started to read more. Um, I just hear the word tutelage. I hear you were learning from someone. There was a source of... Um, you know, knowledge, source of wisdom that you were tapping into, whether that was through books, doctrines, videos, documentaries, you know, you were reading or learning or researching, investigating, um, and you've discovered yourself, you found yourself in that process. Uh, some of you all were, you know, connected to an elder that was worldly, that was experienced, that has been through many um, of the changes that you're now beginning to experience. Uh, so it was easy to pick their brain and to to um, be receptive to the knowledge they was part, you know, um, imparting on you. So I feel through your receptivity, you know, and I say raw as in the sun, like the sun is a source of light, clarity, illumination. So through your receptivity, instead of receptivity, through your receptivity, you were able to receive the downloads, those divine interventions. It also woke you up. And you were starting to see the little subtle ways in which spirit spoke. Um, a lot of people speak of seeing angel numbers. Um, that is one of the many ways in which you begin to take note of how spirit communicates with you because you start to see it on a consistent basis, those synchronicities, those numbers. Um, you may hear certain songs. Some of you could be clairaudient. Some of you may start having dreams. Uh, some of you could be astral traveling. Some of you could start having sensations. Um, some of you just have that, that inner knowing, you know, that intuition. Um, and I feel like that has been um, very um, instrumental in your connectedness to source in your um, in you developing and building that that relationship that connection uh, to source to the divine and I feel like now you've built that spiritual strength right now we have you too and this is called with or without you and so I do absolutely feel like you may have not believed in your ability to live without someone but now it's like you're starting to own it because now you know who you are. 
um, in the past, you could have been in a codependent relationship and someone could have really worked on you to make you doubt yourself, doubt your ability, doubt your strength, doubt your, um, your independence. And it's like now you realize that you could do something with or without another person there. In a lot of ways, they was just taking up air and space and you were doing it all alone anyway. So it was just like they worked on you. That's what the gaslighting and the manipulation and the devaluing stage comes in when you're dealing with someone um, really toxic or even a narc, you know, a covert narc or just full blown narc. They begin to, you know, to chip away at your confidence, um, at your sense of self-love. And I feel like you are now rebuilding and you're rebuilding because you believe in your ability uh, to do something with or without other people. So that means you're standing in your strength. This is like independence. You know, your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your overall happiness. So you too are starting to believe in yourself. I feel someone always saw in you a light um, always saw in you something rare, something very special. And what they tried to do was they tried to hide you from the rest of the world so that they can keep you for themselves. I just feel like somebody was very uh, possessive over you. And it's like they knew deep down that you were special. But instead of trying to um, accentuate that, that beauty in you and trying to water it, they literally were trying to, to, um, chain you, to block you, um, and also trying to dim your light. So a lot of you were dealing with, um, narcissists, covert narcissists, your power threatened them, your beauty threatened them. The way that your light shined bright, it dimmed theirs. So they were jealous. They were envious. They looked at you as the competition, whether you realize that or not, whether this was a family member, whether this was a lover, whether this was a so-called friend, whether this was a sibling, whomever this was, a colleague, it's like you thought the connection was deeper. Um, you thought that the roots that you and this person shared or cultivated, uh, you know, insinuated or meant that the connection was um, tighter than it actually was. On your part, it may have been. On their part, you were always like a secret, you know, you a secret competition um, or you were competition and they were your secret um, competition. So a lot of you didn't realize you were sleeping with the enemy. First and foremost, you were behind enemy lines. First and foremost, you was dealing with somebody that chipped away at your confidence, chipped away at your, you know, your self-love, um, your self-worth, because that made them feel better. Whenever someone has to beat you down so they can feel better, you got to run because that person is absolutely toxic and they do a lot of projecting opposed to doing a lot of introspective work and reflecting on their own selves so that they can improve themselves because we are not responsible for changing anyone external to ourselves. And I feel like this person felt like you needed them for whatever strange reason, but it was a facade that they held up because they knew deep down that you could do shit with, with or without them. They were the ones that was kind of holding on and, and, and riding your coattail because you made a lot of ish happen. So right now we have Rufus and Shaka Khan. This is called tell me something good. So I definitely feel like you have some good news coming in. Cause I feel a lot of y'all broke the chain. You broke some sort of generational curse. We have completion. I didn't even see that. You got nine completion. You got some sort of positive news, good news. There's something coming in. I'm taking those because those were literally like sticking out. They was about to fall out of my hand. So you got something coming in. Somebody's going to come and tell you some good news. And maybe for some of you who thought someone was going to be your, chi um, your child's mother or child's father, you're going to get good news that this isn't the, the baby daddy. <laughs> you are not the daddy. You are not the father, whatever. It's like you're going to get that. That's going to actually be good news because maybe you've discovered that this person that you thought you was going to be, you know, tied to for life is, is like this person was was toxic. They was negative Nancy's miserable, constantly in your pocket, constantly looking for handouts, never satisfied. So it was like it's it's like. A, a sigh of relief that you're finding out that this child that you thought was yours wasn't yours. Um, 
And I feel I heard a lot of y'all um, for some of you all, you you were paying child support for a child that wasn't yours. And you're going to uh, potentially have that ability to get all that money back. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to recoup. I heard the word recoup. You're going to be able to recoup whatever you put into it. You know, so if this is like two, three, four, five years um, that you've been going through something and paying into child support, that that child's mother is going to have to pay you back because I feel like somebody has a good lawyer. Somebody has spoken to someone uh, and they're going to recoup whatever your losses were you know so that that's good news for y'all so somebody's going to come in and give you some good news um we have two and this says patience so a lot of y'all have been very patient spirit has told you be calm you know you know patience young grasshopper you know there's things taking place behind the scenes you will never understand the importance of respecting divine timing it's us that stresses ourselves out because we expect things to happen when we want, how we want. You know, a lot of people have become so, so like spoiled. It's like because we live in a culture where, you know, it's just like instant gratification. Everybody wants stuff now. I want it now. They don't want to work for nothing. They don't they're not willing to put in the energy, the time to, to learn. They just want instant gratification. But I feel you you respected the process. You know, with this patience, that's the number two. That's the high priestess. You knew there was something going on behind the scenes and you respected that. You let the divine do what the divine does. And in the interim, you were still working on yourself. You were still finding balance within yourself. Two is a dual number. So two is letting me know not only were you doing a lot of internal work, but you was also receiving a lot of downloads, divine interventions from spirit telling you, yo, be patient. Some of you all were picking up on those little subtle hints, no notions, angel numbers, synchronicities, vibrations, whatever it was, however spirit was communicating to you, it was letting you know, like, look, remain calm. You know what I'm saying? Relax. You know what I'm saying? Utilize this time wisely. And so you did just that. And what you did was you refined you know, you kind of refined your abilities, your gifts. A lot of you were already intuitive. Some of you stopped utilizing that gift because you was listening to someone else. Some of you all saw red flags earlier on in the relationships that probably, you know, lasted up to 20 years. And you were looking back now like that was a red flag. That was a red flag. But it's like it was all um, um, um designed to teach you it's like it's a, it was a growing pain you know what i'm saying and so now here you are you know and so now you've learned patience you've learned not to rush the process you've learned not to have these high expectations you learned that there's a right and a wrong way according to keith sweat to be loved to love you know to be in a partnership twos are about duality so this is that yin yang energy masculine feminine femininity so it was about balance and so in order for things to you know get back into harmony um you i feel like you had to take a pause a moment to to reflect internally and also to trust what spirit was telling you also because you know there was a right and a wrong way to to make some sort of decision or take some sort of action and i feel like there's a right decision and there's a wrong decision um that's duality right and wrong that's every life is about you know, the, the ebbs and flows, um, there's always dualities. So I feel like you, you, that's why you patiently, um, you know, took a pause, took a step back so that you can make the right decision opposed to the wrong. And so we have individuality and you chose yourself. This is about you, you know, standing perpendicular in your square. As I said, you know, your independence is a foundation for your stability, your security and your overall happiness. Individuality is telling me you was in a codependent connection where you did lose yourself. And it was because you was dealing with somebody who made you feel like you had to rely on them. But in actuality, that was like mind uckery. That was a, a, a very twisted um you know, narrative, because in essence, you were the one that was taking care of everything, whereas they may have convinced you of otherwise. So I feel like you had to prove to yourself that you could be 
you know, solo dolo, that you could stand alone, that you could be single. Some of you all don't even know what it's like to be single because you were trapped in relationships, you know, for, for so long that it's been a minute since you've even had the chance to be by yourself. You know, some of you all don't even know what you like because you were spending so much time catering to another person. So, you know, this right here, this is like, this is refreshing, um, you know, to, it's almost like a renewal, you know, um, your independence that that is very very critical um in your survival you know we have self perseverance for a reason and and, and you know perseverance excuse me self preservation pardon me um for a reason and i feel like you persevered through you know very volatile connections very hostile um individuals people like i said that were projecting most of the time um because they didn't want to take onus uh for whatever it was they were lacking or whatever work they refused to do they rather dump the you know, responsibilities and the onus on you opposed to looking in the mirror the same way that you did. The divine is noticing how patient you've been in the process. You know, you haven't been rushing. You've been like taking your time to get things right. And and that's what's going to always um, lead you to success. It's like I see you taking the straight path. The straight path is always the fastest route. When you try to cut corners, when you try to go through a back route, when you try to like trick folks and it, that takes too much time. But I see here clearly, you know, you you got the download. This is like another two even though that's 11. You know, that's still two. That's the divine. You know, that's that divine giving you the downloads. The 11 is like a portal. So divine interventions, downloads, synchronicities, dream activities, little subtle hints, all type of communication was coming from spirit. And you was there for it. You was there for it all. It's like, and so it is. Spirit was speaking to you. So two, 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 or two, two, that's four. So four is about stability, security. Four is the divine masculine energy as well. So I do feel like, you know, you could be coming potentially into a very powerful union um, with your divine masculine, um, with your divine counterpart with your divine, um, you know, cosmic companion. On the bottom of the deck, we got 13. So that's another four. 13 is definitely your card. That's about renewals. That's about resurrecting, you know, rebirth, reincarnating as someone new. And this is due in part to someone who refused to put in the work, who refused to match your fly, your vibration. Somebody who just kind of like wanted to, you know, reap the benefits but not do any of the work. You know, it's kind of like that coworker, you know, that, that wants to be praised for everything, but they're living off of all of the, the blood, sweat, and tears everybody else is putting into those special projects. And then they want to be there for all of the accolades and the, and the recognition, but they did nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's also what bosses do. They stand behind all of their, their co-workers or their workers um but it's it, it because they make them look good so you got your workers busting their ass going above and beyond but then you getting the accolades and recognition for having the top team and it's like you did nothing <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that's what this person was doing they wanted to be there they was there for all of the it's you know all of the good all of everything that that um you know the money uh the material um you know they were there for all of that but when it came down to it you know, when it was those moments when you really needed support or you really needed a confidant, um, they was ghosts. They ghosted your ass. You know, they didn't make the effort. And that's what really ultimately led you to see, like, look, I could do good, bad on my own. I don't need somebody there just like, you know, egging me on and, and, and I got to walk on eggshells and I got to constantly bite my tongue and I got to constantly be arguing and fighting for my respect for for someone to treat me with the love that I deserve that I know I deserve so this is like you standing in your power standing up erect saying you know what enough is enough I can do good on my own I this is like st the number of stability security this is the number of you know, um, of, um, self-sufficiency even. And we have Patrice Russian, um, where there is love. So four is the heart chakra. So I feel like you had to find, you know, that, 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 uh, clarity, um, so that you could begin to work on you. Cause I always say love is an inside job. And that's why a lot of us get caught up in toxic relationships because maybe there's a little more loving on ourselves we need to do and trust me narcissists covert narcissists they can spot your ass a mile away 
You know, they look for people that are going to just sit there and cater to them 24 seven because they are attention hordes. They cannot survive without the attention. That's why you will find that they have like people that they speak to online that you never heard about. They could go to a grocery store and there'll be 30 people they'd be talking to, just chatting with everyone, coming off like they're super friendly, social butterflies, but that's because they're always working on that extra source, that other supply. So they constantly are open. And, and that's a very, like energetically to be open to everybody without doing your due diligence to, you know, to doing your due diligence to see whether or not that's an energy you could vibe with that's that's very detrimental so this obviously you you was picking up on the energy like this person had other people in their vibration that you weren't the only one which is why they was barely doing anything with you that effort was just like it wasn't hitting on nothing you was barely speaking to them barely having um intimate moments barely having conversations when you did it always ended up in a fight and it's because that's exactly what a narcissist does they will just pick fights randomly just so they could disappear and they have you sitting around in your head wondering what you did and it's like literally you did nothing it's just that's how they play the game they will have you sitting around stressing over them and then they pop up and you think it's like time to be like jumping up for joy again and it's just like that's the that's when they really got you wrapped around their finger. So I feel like for this, ultimately, you had some sort of epiphany. You know, like spirit was giving you those nudges. Spirit was like giving you divine interventions and downloads. Like, look, pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to what's going on. You know, the high priestess is very clairvoyant. She is very you know, very in tune, very psychic. And so that's what you started to pay attention to. And I feel like, you know, your patience, that your patience, you know, not because when you are just like so quick to respond and react, it's like you can have the wrong response. You know what I'm saying? You could take the wrong action and it could lead you in even deeper into an issue, into a problem. But I feel like your patience it's like that's that's how you're supposed to respond. It's like you got to plan, you got to pr prepare, you got to strategize. Like you got to be on your Sun Tzu ish. You know what I'm talking about? So with this, this is when you made that that plan, that master plan to part ways. And so we have Shalimar and it says this um this is for the lover in you. So yeah, so for the lover in you you know, you loved yourself, you know, the lover in you, that's you loving yourself. That's you saying, you know what, I'm gonna take care of me now. You know, I'm gonna make sure I'm good. I can't be dealing with somebody that's giving me bare minimums, or giving me nothing or when they do give me anything. It's always volatile. It's always negative. It's always an argument. It's barely nothing 91. This is um reduces to 10. This says surrender. See that? So I feel like you have surrendered to spirit, like you surrendered to whatever spirit was telling you. This is 10 and 11. And by you being obedient and listening to whatever the spirit was telling you, because this is that divine, you know, intervention right here. You know, that 11 is acts as a portal. So you was definitely tuned in, tapped in, especially with this high priestess vibration and energy. And so you was listening and spirit was like, look, you know, take a moment. And that's why I feel like you. You ultimately um, are coming out of a situation, um, you know, better because you did your due diligence. Like there's no rushing here. These are all orange cards. Orange deals with self-love, self-care, self-discipline. Orange is about the power. That's your sacral chakra. So this is about you moving to the beat of your drum now. You know what I'm saying? Like they said, this is for the lover in you. So for the love of self, you made these changes. You know what I'm saying? The necessary steps is heal thyself, love thyself, know thyself. And you've taken the steps with this 91 that reduces to 10. So you surrendered. You surrendered to the fact that, look, I got to heal me. This 91 reduces to one. And that one is the root chakra. So I feel like you, a lot of you started to heal from past wounds and traumas, things that you never, you never even realized you was dealing with, things you never even realized that, you know, was you know, some sort of, of um, bondage for you, you know, but when you started to take those deep dives and those internal self audits, you realize like during those formative years, during your childhood, you know, those were when that's when you started to develop some of these, um, you know, belief systems and, and behaviors and habits. Some of you all have daddy issues mommy issues some of you grew up you know where there was favoritism you was like the black sheep and that's the story of most empaths you know what i'm saying is that you're treated like the odd man out because you are 
embrace it. You're not meant to be like everybody else. You're meant to stand out. You're supposed to be different. You're supposed to be a freaking weirdo. You know what's weird to me? When everybody's walking around, looking the same, talking the same, acting the same. That's some clone ish you know what I'm talking about? So it's very beautiful to be a weirdo. Don't embrace that ish. Embrace it. So this here showed you like, yo, you started to work on yourself. You got to the root cause of the issue. You surrendered to whatever the divine was telling you. Like, look, now it's time to work on yourself. Now it's time to focus on you. Being an individual means that you got to look yourself in the mirror now and you got to start asking yourself those tough questions. It's not about projecting anymore. It's not about looking at somebody else to fault them. It's about self. You know what I'm saying? Self-preservation. So this is what you did. You surrendered. Once you got that download, you surrendered to the process. And that's why divine is going to bless you, I feel, because you got some good news coming in. And I feel like it's because you did the work. 61. Self-love is on the bottom of the deck. Yet another orange card. This is absolutely amazing how all of the cards are orange. But this sixth one, self-love, like I said, the lover in you, what Shalimar was just singing about, that's what you focused on. Self-love, self-care. Loving yourself is very important because it teaches other people how they ought to treat you. When there's a lack of this, that's when you have people feeling like they could give you the bare minimums, they could breadcrumb you, they could triangulate you with other people, they could treat you like an option, they could put you to the side, they could ghost you, they could disappear, reappear, they could be flighty, unreliable, never there, and then pop up on the grid whenever they feel like it. But this right here, you ain't having none of that when you're in the mode of self-love, self-care. You're not having that, you're not on that type of time, and if someone doesn't respect you as a divine feminine or divine masculine, off with their head. You, it's like they ain't making the cuts. So let's see, what do we have here? Divine spirit of love and light. What do we have? Divine spirit of love and light. Okay. And so we have the Isley brothers living for the love of you. So that's what you're doing now. You're living for yourself because you learn. This is teaching and learning. This is another time, uh, um, the second time this card showed up during the reading, in the former reading it showed up. That 57 reduces to 12. So that's you growing, ascending to that Empress energy because that 57 reduces to 12. So you've been teaching and learning and you've ascended into that divine feminine, divine masculine. That's why divine was saying, look, patience, young grasshopper. Good things take time to create you know, and you had to surrender. You had to surrender and relinquish the control, you know, trying to control the narrative, trying to control how the situation was going to turn out, trying to control how somebody else sees you. Whatever you were trying to control, you were never in control. Spirit was always in control. That's why the divine was like, look, please own the fact that you are um, you need to be an individual. You need to own the fact that even though you think you're in a relationship, a partnership, if you're the only one working on it, you're not. You know what I'm saying? You're literally carrying people around on your back. You know what I'm saying? You literally have, co you know, you have dependence. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you have. You don't have a relationship. You have, like, a situationship, you know? So here we have spiritual career. This came out again. Spiritual career. These are all the same cards that came out before. It looks like it. Spiritual career, personal growth, abundance. 13, effort, 56, relationship change. So what did I say? Some of you all, you had to go through this process so that you could learn not only what your love language is, but so that you can also align, because this is about aligning with your, your divine counterpart, your twin, your yin, your yang, that cosmic companion, that soulmate, whomever this is, because I was picking up on that, you know, divine masculine with that four, that showed up earlier and the four is showing up again. This time I feel somebody's going to make the effort because you have effort and relationship change right next to one another. This also could be telling you the reason why a relationship ended was because someone's lack of effort because that 13 is the death card. But I also am sensing because you have this spiritual career here, this is why the divine was working on you because the divine was fine tuning, you know, your abilities, you know, amplifying your psychic abilities, your intuitive abilities, your clairaudient, clairsentient, clairo, uh, clairvoyant abilities. This is what the divine has been doing because you all have been chosen. You're a part of the chosen ones. You are ordained. You are, um, you know, part of the initiate. 
You know what I'm saying? You are not just mere mortals. You have a calling. And I feel like that's what the divine, that's why you were going through what you were going through. You know, with living for the love of you, I feel like that's how you started to discover who you were. Because you weren't just going to fold after someone, you know, discarded you, after someone just mistreated you. Some of you all were abandoned. Like I said, some of you all discovered that, you know, a child that you've been taking care of, you know, that's like a death, you know, to sit there and claim a child, to put a lot of love and energy into raising a child to find out that child isn't yours. But now you're going to live for the love of you. Now you're going to do what's going to make you feel right. Because I feel you were letting people live vicariously through you. Or you were ride, allowing people to just ride on your coattail. There was, there was never any equal give and take. But this growth that you just had, this growing pain, this growth spurt. You know, I, I hear ascension. And that's why I, I told y'all, y'all had blessings coming in. Remember, Shaka Khan was telling you, tell me something good. Somebody going to come in and give you some good news. And it's about your financial situation. Whatever you've been doing, all of this hard work is going to pay off. Spirit is saying not only are you going to be emotionally feel, fulfilled, you're going to be financially fulfilled. And we have Frederick Gentle calling my name. So somebody is absolutely thinking of you. Somebody is absolutely coming in. Maybe you got a secret admirer. You know, this is somebody that's definitely coming in like solid. They coming in right and exact. You know, somebody's coming in with love also. And I do feel like this is someone that's very happy, very, you know, positive attitude. You know what I'm saying? Got a good head on their shoulders. Somebody that when they think of you, it's like it's like you're like the hearth. You know, you're, you're like home. You're like soul food. There's just something very, um, very charismatic or very... Um, irresistible I heard the word irresistible and that's why I feel like y'all y'all are gonna be you know they're gonna wife you up or they're gonna you know they're gonna wife you up they're gonna make you their hubby they're gonna wife you up or hub you up <laughs> but this is like I'm, I feel a lot of y'all that are single you're not gonna be single for very long so let's see what else we got let's let's what else we're gonna do let's pull out these messages from you know what they're telling me energy oracle so let's see what we got loving you baby girl you got me so you have archangel uriel on the bottom of the deck so this is about intuition and remember she rules over the seventh chakra and so your intuition is here and so that's speaking to you being very psychic being very gifted being very clairaudient clairsentient tapping in this 41 again breaks down to five Remember, we saw 41 earlier, or that was 14. Either or, it broke down to five. This speaks to your spiritual strength. This speaks to you being tapped in, tuned in. And it's because you've taken the necessary time to do your due diligence. Remember, I heard the word tutelage. This is about you being very studious, studying, you know, researching, investigating, learning, reading books, watching documentaries, doing your due diligence to learn more. Some of you could be meditating. Some of you could be, you know, doing more yoga. You're doing things that is connecting you to your higher self. And that's what spirit is telling you to do with gently calling your name. Maybe that's your higher self calling and nudging you to follow a certain path because you have a calling. This is you paying attention to your higher self and it's leading you on your path to your purpose. Katara, please get down, baby girl. Thank you, my love. And so we have this. So, you know, see that potential storm warning. Nothing like if you are psychic, if you're an intuitive, it's like whatever this is, it's like you already have that that sixth sense. So there's a knowingness, you know, that's why the divine is saying, like, trust your intuition. You know, spirit could be nudging you because with calling your name, I feel like, you know, some of you could be dealing with someone named Frederick. You know, that could be a first, middle or last name or someone with an F in their name. But I do feel like with this, you know, somebody does kind of like, you know, this is almost that, that energy of somebody who's kind of like missing you somebody who's like nostalgic you know very like thinking of you dreaming of you daydreams you know because this is somebody that kind of like you know but this person brought nothing but drama 
You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that was always like, you know, trying to like bring you down, just constant negativity. And with this crown chakra, with this Archangel Ariel, she's dealing with the, you know, that's that's like spirit telling you like you're you're beyond that. Like you don't we, we you don't have no time for that. And so it's almost like telling you like protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Put that armor of protection. Shield yourself. You know, don't even entertain that. The former reading, it was like, okay, those cards want to fall out. It was like, don't even pick up the phone when people are calling that, you know, l vibrate low, because all that is, is like energy is transferable. You can't destroy energy. So if somebody calling you up on the phone with drama, what do you think they're doing? They're transferring that negativity on to you. And so now you're stuck feeling stressed out. So trust your intuition. Trust what spirit is telling you. Because I feel a lot of y'all are getting messages and you're missing the call. I see 4444 on the um on the um camera and so that 4444 four, 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 that reduces to 16 so that's seven so that's also again telling you trust your intuition we're about to clarify this message so with that you know seventh chakra you're very cerebral at this time you know very sensitive trust what you're feeling you know the full moon is about to happen in a couple of days and so I do feel like you could be picking up on something. Something's manifesting. I feel like something's manifesting. Something's coming full circle. There's something about to be birthed. Like there's something about to, um, okay, my kitten is doing the most. Give me one moment. My bad. She's in there knocking down all kind of stuff. Okay, so we have here on the bottom of the deck man holding a heart and then we have um roger i want to be your man playing so pay attention because i do feel like you're going to have like options you know i just get options and that's why spirit is telling you trust your intuition because one person is coming in and they mean what they say whereas the other person is coming in speaking with a forked tongue trying to confuse you because again this is that same person that tries to block your blessings dim your light try to confuse you keep you stuck and stagnant i was fit hearing the word imprisonment enslavement um triangulation those are all things that a devil does a narc does a covert narc is they'll they'll try to dim your light, you know, that's the type of person that'll piss on your head and tell you it's raining outside. So we got yin yang. So you got a twin flame coming in, just as I said, duality, baby. This is somebody that is going to compliment you. This is a like mind. This is somebody that spirit is sending to you. That's why spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. You haven't been patient for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Good things take time to create, beloved, you know, and when you're patient with the process, you never know what the divine is sending in. That's why it's important to not try to control the situation. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite sayings is you want to make God laugh, you tell him your plans. Because while you sitting there having plans, spirit got other plans. Remember I said I saw 222 two, two because we have the 11 here and I break that down to 2 even though it's a power number. And people be trying to hate on me in the comments. But I don't care because I'm intuitive and I do what I do the way I do it. I don't do what you do. So here goes the 222. Two, two. Does that work for you? <laughs> so there goes that 222. Two, two. So that's 246. This could be a past life love. This could be someone from your past that you know, maybe a friend, not a karmic ex, not a toxic ex. This is someone new. This is the yin to your yang. That's why spirit was telling you be patient because I feel like both of y'all were completing cycles. Something had to come to a head. I was hearing wash, rinse, repeat. Some of y'all was constantly going through the same thing. Someone wasn't learning the lesson. They kept repeating the lesson. It was like somebody just kept press, pressing rewind, rewind on a situation that they should have been left. And then finally that, oh, that aha moment, that epiphany, that moment of clarity came. And it caused, it allowed them to see things for what they truly were. And so the next message we have is action. Now they can take action because there's no more confusion. You know, energy doesn't lie, like I said. You know what I'm saying? So somebody is coming into your life and they're going to match your vibration. This is a like mind. This is a twin flame. Somebody that speaks your love language. Someone that has the, sim the same experiences, the life experiences, interests that you have. So this is someone that's going to absolutely, you know, be someone that you can build with and grow with. You know, this is someone that's going to give to you equally. There's not just that that one sidedness. This isn't a selfish person. This is somebody that's going to care how you feel in the relationship, care to make you feel content and appreciated and valued the way that they look to have. So this action, there's something coming in quickly. I feel like you, you know, finding yourself, finding your balance, finding your strength, focusing on yourself 
is what led to now this movement, some sort of wish fulfillment that could be rushing in. You know, that 17 reduces to eight. Eight is always like a star. That's always like wish fulfillment for me. That's also karmic justice. And I feel like because of whatever you did, taking your power back from someone that was controlling you and manipulating you for years, for some of you up to 11 years, some of you for 17 years, for some of you, it could have been 20 eight years that you could have been with someone and they could have been just mind ucking you, duping you, keeping you in some sort of vicious cycle. And now it's like you're free. You know what I'm saying? You're home free. And it's because this twin flame is coming into your life as well. And you're going to see the difference between being loved and valued from being, you know, devalued and mistreated. And so there's a wish fulfillment. This is somebody you could have potentially manifested. You know what I'm saying? The full moon is coming and that's usually, you know, speaks to manifestations. I definitely feel a lot of you could be having heavy dream activity. Somebody could be dreaming of you heavily. And so we have the Commodores and this is called night shift. So as I'm speaking of dreams, we got night shift. So definitely maybe somebody works the night shift, the graveyard shift. Maybe they work overnight, whoever this is. They work long hours. They put in a lot of overtime. But I see here like somebody's getting their independence back. Somebody's learning how to, you know, to to take care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that's now fine and finally owning the fact that they can do it by themselves. They don't need another person there. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they were trained to believe. Like you can't do it without me. That a narcissist loves to tell you what you can and can't do. And when you are so beaten down, you believe it. That's why I said a lot of y'all was like, you know, low, you know, like just low um, self-esteem for a while. So I mentioned second chakra, Archangel. Um, I mentioned the second chakra, but we have Archangel Ariel here. So there you go. Surrender. So this is about, you know, that strength, courage, and wisdom. This is about you knowing when to let go, when to let God, when to step aside and let the divine do what the divine does. This is about trusting the process, walking in faith, knowing that your angels got you, your ancestors, your spirit team have you. And that's why you learn to just be your authentic self in that process, because that's what spirit tells you to do. It's like, you know, the Commodores, you know, that's, that's lit literally like, you had to walk through new doors because I feel for a long time you was just constantly in this vicious cycle and you had to walk through that door. You had to confront your fears, so to speak. This nine is saying that this is like the highest number of change. So this is about you like really owning who you are and really moving to the beat of your drum, discovering what your skills, gifts and talents are, you know, and finding, finding your way. This is powerful, man. This is powerful. And we have the magician in the mirror. There we go. Magician in the mirror. What is what what is spirit telling you? You all have a gift. You know what I'm saying? Your gift is to manifest, to create. You are creatives. You are artists. You're here for a purpose, for a reason. You have a calling. And I feel the more you guys are listening to readings, authentic readers, people who are doing it because that's their calling or something they're being encouraged or motivated to do, you know what I'm saying? It's deeper than just subscribers. It's deeper than just having a massive following. It's like, why are you doing this? Are you doing this because you have a passion for it? Because you really have a message to impart to people, to help people? Or are you just doing it for the attention? You got a lot of people out here that are attention whores. You know what I'm saying? And so you got to be able to discern. There's a lot of false prophets out here. So you have to have that knowledge. That's why spirit opened up the reading with like, look, intuition. Don't submit your will to me. Don't submit your will to anyone outside of self. If I send a message and it resonates with what you already feel, then that message was for you. I'm not forcing nothing down your throat. But I do want you all to use discernment. It's showing clearly you all are gifted. This is this is this combination right here. You're gifted, beloveds. Are you utilizing your skills, gifts and talents? Are you honing them? Are you sharpening your sword? I was picking up on tutelage and knowledge and learning. And that's what builds your spiritual strength. That's what provides you the knowledge. And that's how you become aligned, not just with your person per se, but with your purpose, what are you here to do? And I feel like a lot of you all 
master magicians, master manifestors. You are alchemists. You are channelers. You know what I'm saying? You know how to be the conduits of change as above, so below. This is a powerful energy that you can manifest your desired outcome. And I feel you have a wish fulfillment coming in that you have been manifesting for quite some time. And I feel it has a lot to do with your purpose. And I feel your purpose is also going to introduce you to your person. Because in the former reading, you had spiritual partnership and spiritual career. So I feel like whatever you choose to do, whatever your calling may be, you're going to bump into your cosmic companion, your twin flame, whilst, you know, whilst fulfilling that um, that duty. So let's see what we got. Because remember, you got a man holding a coin and this man likes what they see. They're watching you. We got Luther Vandross, Rising Power King. And this is called So Amazing. This love is going to be so amazing. I'm hearing this is the beginning of a beautiful love story. This is somebody that's going to love you right, treat you good. You're going to feel like you're in a freaking dream. You know what I'm saying? The way this connection is just going to be so perfect. Like it's just beautiful. And it's because of your personal growth. When you learn your love language, when you learn, you know, to love yourselves, like I said, that teaches other people that they're going to have to come in and treat you good. And this is going to feel so amazing. And it's doing part to the growth. It's like, you know what I'm saying? When you when you get treated like dog-ish and then somebody comes in and treats you like, you know, like, like royalty, it's like, there's no going back. You know, once you know what you deserve, there's no going back. And I feel like in this vibration, you know what I'm saying, with that crown chakra, like you've grown a lot. You've grown tremendously. You've also, you know, developed a strong... Uh, connection to your spirit team to your spirituality you have a strong connection to your higher self so you're always trusting your intuition you never go against that and I feel like as I said there's going to be decisions you're going to have to make and because you are in this space where you have you know reached that crown chakra which speaks and remember Archangel Uriel showed up with the crown chakra so this is speaking you know double confirmation and this also could be you matching the fly of your twin because that 22 that's a dual number as is this so it's showing me that you and your person this is also duality this is duality you know what i'm talking about so it's like you and your person that spirit is aligning you and matching you up with is absolutely both you're learning valuable lessons and completing karmic lessons at the same time and these are cycles that have been wash rinse repeat wash this is like same thing this is just like a, it's very cyclical and i feel like not just just for for you i got the hiccups and i have no bottle of water but also for whoever you're attracting but somebody loves you baby i'm hearing patty labelle somebody loves you baby whoa 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 so this is somebody who has grown also and i feel like they've also their feelings have grown um whilst watching you grow so it's almost like they've been watching they like eye spies like they keeping tabs so why is this personal growth here for my beautiful scorpios wow thank you i love when things fall on the floor it's so amazing give me a moment <laughs> thank you for your patience thank you for your patience all right so here we have it so we have the garden and the gate so this was you know kind of like where you were in your comfort zone dreaming hoping wishing for change and then finally you just had that moment of epiphany that clarity like look walk through the gate and leave you know leave that situation that had you feeling stuck imprisoned you know that had you feeling like a slave maybe even a slave to your own self you know to your own mind you know self-deception fear you know what I'm saying? But this is like somebody just kind of like up in their head dreaming. And I feel like eventually there's someone that just decides to go out, take that leap of faith, you know. And so we have um, Cheek, and this is called Le Freak. Some of y'all left a freak behind, you know. The 7 and this 30 reduces to 10. So some of y'all, you know, had to grow, you know, it was a growing pain. Look at this. Abundance is being clarified by Carnocopia. Didn't I tell you y'all had some good news coming in? So whoever this was that you was dealing with, they were a freak. So incubus, succubus, and this person kept you tracked, kept you feeling stuck, 
know what I'm saying? And and you see how this looks like a young girl? Like she looks like she could be like young, young in age. She doesn't look like a grown woman. She looks like she's kind of stunted in her growth when I look at this, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fears. It has a lot to do with the insecurities, with depression, with somebody beating them down, telling them what they can't do. And I feel like that's why there's just this dream. But I do see here that that person does grow. They grow from that because they start mustering up the strength. You know, maybe they start opening up the gate and taking a little walk to see what it's like. And they realize like, oh, I can do this. You know, maybe they was with somebody who was kind of like trying to convince them that they couldn't go out. Don't go, don't go out there. You'll die. So they're just sitting there and dreaming. But it's just like that. That was the mind uckery. That was the, you know, the, the trickery. That was the games that somebody was playing just to keep somebody stuck. And when they feel like dealing with them, then they would come back and deal with them. Somebody grew. Somebody grew up. Somebody woke up. You know, that seven is telling me like spirit was giving you divine downloads and interventions telling you like, look, something is terribly wrong with this picture. Are you going to continue to allow somebody to keep you trapped while they live in their best life? Somebody was sitting around waiting for some most of the time because they was out gallivanting through life, doing whatever the hell they wanted to do while you sitting there waiting. Like it, it, it was just like imbalanced. It was completely imbalanced and very, very um, toxic. And so we have our look at that. She flew right back out. And I was speaking of um, speaking of this energy. And so this is what I really want to clarify right here. So the carnucopia and the abundance. Shaka Khan was saying that, you know, tell me something good. Somebody's going to come in and give you some good news about some coins. And I told you, you're going to be feeling very fulfilled emotionally. Um, you know, you're going to be fulfilled financially. This is like with this energy right here, you're going to freak out. You're literally going to be bugging. Some of y'all are going to get some news about money that you didn't even know you was getting. You know, this could be somebody writing a will and you're included in that will. This could be even like some sort of um, payout from some sort of legal um matter this could be like insurance payouts this could be a bonus this could be a promotion this could be a job offer this is just money that you weren't expecting even if you all have businesses even if you have other um you know multiple streams of income or alt all uh how should i say you have um different sources of income it's like you're going to start seeing uh you're going to start seeing things growing um you're going to see start seeing expansion um, in your financial, you know, arenas, like things are going to start looking out. And I feel like you're going to be taken care of forever. Like this isn't just a quick payout and then you're going to be broke in a month. Like this is money that's going to be consistent, you know, because this is a blessing from the divine. Like spirit is like rewarding you for everything. I said earlier, you know, perseverance, um, when I was trying to say, you know, self-preservation. And so I feel like it's because you've persevered through so much that spirit is like showering you with this, you know, carnucopia. This is like a harvest forever. It's like material blessings. It's like spiritual prosperity. It's like love. It's like you got 33 romance. And remember, you know, we, we saw that energy, the um, 78, um, which I was saying was like past life love type of energy as well, because that's the six, the lovers. But then you got the six here again, romance. The door to romance is opening up, and this door can only open up once you close the door to your past. So I was feeling like you all were walking through another door, so to speak, and this is why, because you're 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 coming into something really beautiful. You know, this is like somebody that has the key to your heart, which has been locked for a while. Remember, you got that re um, relationship change here. And this is 11, you know, so this is the, the other half of you. You're 11 and the person that's coming in is 11. So this is your twin flame. This is your soulmate. That four is the vibration of 1111. And so you see clearly what's taking place. Spirit is letting you know in every reading. Like I said, divine timing is always of essence. A lot of y'all be complaining about when, when, well, whenever you're ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't argue with me. Argue with source. Because if you're not ready and, and, and you're, you're just sitting around like expecting stuff, but you're not doing your due diligence to make sure that when whatever comes in, you're ready for it and you're prepared for it so that you don't mess it up. Then, I mean, that's on you. I, I, I can't tell you how to do this thing. I could just tell you what the cards say. But at the end of the day, 
you definitely have uh, a blessing coming in. And I feel not just you, I feel your person as well. They've been putting in some work as well. So as I said, you're going to match each other's fly. This is a like mind. This is somebody that's been through the same thing, similar experiences. And you know this, man. You know this, man. This isn't this isn't a game. This is you. This is your energy. You're you're vibrating high. You're intuitive. You have a lot of um a lot of wise dome. You know what I'm saying? You've been through a lot. And we have chic again. I want your love. So look at this. Somebody gonna be trying to play your game play games, talking about I want your love. This is that same person that put in, didn't put any effort in the past, didn't appreciate your love when they had it before, but now they want to come back talking about they want your love according to Cheek Sheik. That's why Spirit is saying again for the second time, intuition. Follow your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. You're already on to whatever this person is trying to do because this is all tricknology that's why you're leaving this where it is you know what i'm saying there's no resurrecting this you are resurrected because you're in a space where you are self-sufficient independent and self-reliant so you are not checking for someone from your past to be coming around um you know crying talking about they want your love back or they want you um i feel like you're definitely going to be uh very wise um to uh pay attention to what your spirit is telling you what their energy is speaking to you and you're not going according to words this is going to be someone that you were with in the past i'm hearing an x because this is 13 so this is telling me there was a painful ending loss deception lies trickery and now this is you as that spiritually strong divine feminine and masculine that listens to their intuition that's very cerebral it's like you're not falling for the okie doke this time around so remember i was saying i was feeling like you're gonna have some choices to make you are between this fraudulent love this x this karmic x that was mind ucking you duping you tricking you gaslighting you lying to you and and giving you barely nothing and then you're gonna have somebody else that absolutely is on your vibration that's coming in for the right reasons because they do love you and this is that person that's going to change that single status to married to taken to committed and it's because they're going to know how to treat you they're going to treat you the way that they see you deserve to be treated as the royalty that you are that empress that emperor they're not coming in to play no games this is not a game this is not games here so let's see Spirit, why is this relationship change here for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of love and light. Why is relationship change here? Thank you, Spirit. And we have on the bottom of the deck, patience again. You and your person are very much mirroring one another. Messages are coming out the same. Energy is coming out the same. Like, this is powerful. I love when this happens. So trust your intuition and be patient. Don't, don't rush anything. See that? Contract. Karma Dharma. This is about you receiving some sort of karma. This is like universe is working things out in your favor. Somebody's getting a divorce. Someone has to leave a connection. Someone has to part ways with someone so that they can come your way. Somebody is working their way out of um, their own karmic connection. And I feel like once they, work, work, once they leave a connection, they, they're coming towards you. I feel like there's balance being restored. Things are going to be working out in your favor. I also feel like if some of you all are signing like contracts or whatever, this is like, like there's some sort of changes. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be some alterations, some changes. So, you know, be mindful to read all of the fine print. You know what I'm saying? Don't just take it upon yourself to be signing ish immediately after somebody hands it to you. Be like, look, I'm going to take a look at this with my lawyers and I will see you in a day or two or three. But don't be, you know, don't let nobody pressure you into signing anything. Make sure you read the fine print. I keep hearing fine print. So there could be something in there that could be like, you know, it could be very um, tricky. But I also feel if some of you all are going through divorce proceedings, like somebody could potentially be trying to like convince you they don't want a divorce. And, and it's like they, they're just trying to prolong, you know, um, this process because they don't want you to go find love. They don't want to end this connection. It's like they don't want it to end for whatever reason. And I feel like it has a lot to do with all of this abundance. It has a lot to do with you, you know, being back on 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 your shit <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like they didn't expect that and here you are here you freaking are 
All right, so let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. We're going to post some messages from the kid. Nope, this is Gilded. My bad. So look what we got on the bottom of the deck. We got the Ace of Cups. Somebody's watching. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Somebody's watching y'all from a distance. And this is this person. I feel strongly. This is that person that really, that man holding a heart. He was just sitting there watching. Somebody's definitely watching. Even if it's a feminine, this looks like a feminine's face. I rather. Somebody's keeping tabs. Somebody's watching. It's like a secret admirer, you know. And they're trying to choose, like, you know, this could be somebody that is, like, on their way, as I said, like, leaving another relationship because they have something else in mind. They see you as wish fulfillment. This eight of cups and this ace of cups makes nine of cups. So they're following, you know, whatever they feel is a dream, a wish, you know, because you got this 56 relationship change and then you got the contract. So to me, that's like somebody has to leave one situation so that they could come toward you. You know, and that's a decision. The 56 reduces to two, you know, 11 is two. And this is also the decision that this person is making here. It's like they're making a decision to go, you know, towards whatever they feel is, you know, um, wish fulfillment for them. Something that makes them feel emotionally fulfilled. That's also an 11. So somebody has to also become single or an individual in order to go after what they truly want. So this is like walking away from a connection, a relationship that is leaving you emotionally unfulfilled, bankrupt, you know, and somebody wants to come in with the intention to work things out. You got the eight of cups and the eight of pentacles. So they're leaving a connection to come towards you because they see stability with you. They see they can grow with you, build with you. They see they could have family. They see they could compromise with you that you're willing to compromise you know, they see you as someone maternal or paternal, someone nurturing. And so we have um, guy, and this is called less chill. For some of you ladies, there's a guy coming in towards you. And we have the queen of wands. Somebody's leaving this queen of wands. This queen of wands was controlling. She had a nasty attitude. This also could be like, you know, somebody who could be very incubus, succubus, very passionate, using sex as a weapon, seductress you know, a charlatan or, sh you know, somebody who's just uses their body to get what they want, you know, that type of energy, you know, the queen of wands is usually um, depicted as like that mistress or Mr. Stress. And I feel somebody's finally making a decision to leave. They just want to chill. They want to get away from, you know, all of the nonsense, the, all of the negativity. And so we have here on the bottom of the deck, we have, this is the page of cups. So somebody's coming in with a message of love, y'all. And what they may say when they reach out to you is, look, you know, let's go chill. Let's go. Let's go do something fun. You know, let's go be spontaneous. What do you feel like doing? You'd be like, I don't know. Be like, look, let's go ride bumper cards. You know what I'm saying? It'd be just something random. I was picking up on adventure and fun in the past. But this is somebody really communicating with you. And I see, you know, that this is an energy of somebody who is really coming in with good intentions like they're really coming in you know maybe this is somebody that really wants to um offer love as i said somebody that really wants to express their love somebody that could have been a, a, a secret admirer look what's on the bottom of the deck ten of cups so this is somebody that definitely just wants to chill like they don't want no drama this is somebody that's very emotionally intelligent same as yourself Happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. This is somebody that wants to give equally. This is somebody that wants to, you know, just make babies, raise children, build a legacy, take trips. This is a devoted partner. This is someone that is solid. This is someone that's a man's man, a woman's woman. They know their role. They know their place. They have no, no problem with submitting. You know what I'm saying? Or being submissive. This is somebody that takes control, takes charge, is a leader, a boss. You know, somebody that's looking for, you know, their divine counterpart, not, you know, another minion. They want somebody that's solid standing right next to them and somebody that's going to be solid standing next to you. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So what do we have? So look at that Ten of Wands. This is relieving yourself of the burden, carrying somebody else on your back, on your shoulders. That's why you had to go and be single. That's why you had to go be independent because you was doing everything. Whoever you was dealing with was allowing you to do everything on your own. Even if you was a feminine, if you was a feminine pregnant, that man let you go to your prenatal appointments alone. They wasn't even there as a support. 
You know what I'm saying? This is like, you know, some of you masculines was doing all the work while, you know, whoever you was dealing with was just sitting on their ass with their hands out like cups thinking that just being cute was enough. This is like all of the burdens y'all was carrying on your back, you know, never appreciated, never valued, you know, and this is what led to you finally having that epiphany, that aha, like spirit was giving you downloads, like beating you over the head with all kinds of red flags. And you finally caught the mess, like you got the message. You know what I'm saying? It's like message, message, like it was coming in, baby. You had to wake up to get it. You know what I'm saying? But you finally did. And that's when you was like, OK, um, I'm done with this. This isn't fun. <laughs> I'm over this. You know, but this is that cycle. This is somebody repeating the same things and you just keep taking them back. You keep falling for the same okie doke. You know what I'm saying? You like you keep letting people overstep their boundaries, overstep your boundaries. Like it was just ugly, nasty, yo. And then finally you said, I'm taking I'm taking action. I'm moving away from this because spirit like, you know, something happened. Karma, something took place. Maybe you started your healing process, as I said, you know, because as you start to heal yourself, you find balance. You start you kind of find harmony. You're no longer up in la la land, confused and delusional. You know what I'm saying? You start seeing things for what it truly is. Hence, you know, this 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 bird up in the sky looking at things from a bird's eye view. Hence. This 11, which is like the portal that opens up so that you could receive the divine interventions and downloads from such an angelic animal totem, such as that hawk in the sky. So you got hawk eye and you realize like, oh, OK, I see what's going on. I'm being used. I'm being bamboozled. I'm being duped. Like you started to recognize like it ain't a game. So this is when you said, I got to get busy. I got to do me now. I got to take care of me. I got to make sure I'm straight. I got to make sure I'm honing my skills, gifts, and talents. This is what you did. Instead of crying over spilled milk, instead of whining and complaining, self-loathing, you got busy. This is what you started to do. That's why you got the spiritual career here because you started to master your craft. And this is like keeping your eye on the prize. You have the eye of the tiger. Like this is like your phone is on airplane mode. You're not accepting any calls because you're too goddamn busy. You're booked and busy. This is what that energy is. You have Whitney... Um, uh, William Santana, and this is called the new birth. It's been a long time. So yeah, it's been a long time. This is the new birth, the birth of you stepping into your divinity as that creative mind, as that creative being, that artistic person. This is you owning that skill, that gift, that talent. This is also you, you know, moving to the beat of your drum, regardless of what the naysayers were saying. Oh, you can't, you ain't, you, you went to work. This is like very studious. This is tutelage. This is learning, researching and mastering your craft. That's powerful. You just surrendered. You start, you relinquished control, you know? So why is the surrender second chakra Archangel Ariel here for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And what do we have here? The world. See that? This is powerful. I definitely see that you created distance. You know what I'm saying? You created distance, but this also speaks to ascension, growth, elevation, advancement. This is graduating to the next level. This is you gaining a whole new perspective on the world because you had to navigate tough situations. You had to go through all type of atrocities all on your own, but you learned so much about yourself and about the process, about love, about life. This is the last card of the major arcana. I feel like you learn to create those boundaries. You learn to create a distance, a space as necessary so that you can work on you. This is powerful. The world also is telling me that there is distance between a potential love interest. You have the uh, two of pentacles here. So that just shows all that you've been doing. Like you've been juggling a lot. You've been working really hard. You know, this new birth is doing part two, you know, all of the enormous changes that you've been through. You've been through magnificent change. You've gone through so many different life lessons, and that's what's led to, you know, this personal growth that you have experienced here. This is why you are as, you know, in tune and tapped in as you are, because a lot of you all have absolutely been doing the work. Like you haven't just been sitting around playing games, twiddling your thumbs, like you've really been busy, just like that Eight of Pentacles just showed. And so that's why there's like, this is like a graduation. You're leveling up. This is like you being crowned king, being crowned queen. That's powerful. I love it. So why is 78? Wow. Okay. All of your messages just came out and we have the three of wands. So this is like that energy of ready, set, go. 
And this is like you already know something that something is coming because you already was shown as, you know, that high priestess. But also you had Archangel Ariel, Uriel, pardon me, the seventh chakra. You also have the seven personal growth. So you've learned how to trust your intuition, that inner gumption. You know what I'm saying? You you can feel, you could sense when something coming and something that's coming is com is coming because you've manifested it. So it's like you're anticipating it because you manifested it. This is like I said, as above, so below. You're utilizing all of the elements around you. You're a co-creator with source. So you are receiving love. Your twin flame is coming. This is someone that is going to be like a husband, a wife. This is your queen, your king, your twin flame, your twin, you know, your counterpart, your cosmic companion. This is going to transform your life. And didn't I say this person that's coming in, not only are they going to be your love interest, love partner, but they're also going to be someone that you could potentially meet at, you know, in your line of business, doing something that you were called to do. This is like beautiful manifestation of all that you are asking for. You have love, you have abundance, you have success, you have prosperity, you have beautiful energy here. Someone is making a decision to come towards you, the two of wands. This is a choice. And I feel this is a choice you're going to have to make because with this personal growth, I feel like you chose to leave something that had you feeling stuck and stagnant, that had you feeling imprisoned, had you feeling, you know, like you weren't good, good enough, worthy enough, valuable enough. So he's making a decision to leave and he's going towards the light because that's the truth. Spirit has been nudging you. Spirit has been calling you and tugging at you and letting you know that whatever it is that you choose to do, whatever it is you want to do, make sure you trust what you feel intuitively. Make sure you go against what spirit is, is telling you to do. Next, you have the Queen of Wands. Some of you all were dealing with somebody who had some sort of, you know, um, they had some sort of triangulation situation. You, you're being rewarded because you were dealing with somebody who was um, dealing with a mistress. I also feel like you all, you know, being the magis, the alchemists that you are, you learned how to manifest. So I feel like for some of you all, this could speak to like, you know, maybe a business idea, something that you've been right, like a passion of yours. And um, it's leading to abundance. It's leading to, you know, the success, the expansion, you know, the recognition, the rewards, because you've turned that thought into you know, reality, like you've turned, you've, you've manifested something, you know, literally from a thought into, you know, reality. So this is powerful. And next we have the um, eight of swords. So somebody is definitely caught up in their head. We have the 13, the death card. And remember, we got the 13 here. And so I'm going to, um, I'm going to give the equal amount of cards. So we got three and three. Okay. And then this is the, f the five of cups. See that? And so these are going to be for here. So this is what we have clarifying the 13 and Archangel Ariel, Uriel. I keep saying Ariel because Ariel is here too. So I keep saying Ariel. See that Uriel and Ariel. My apologies, Archangels. No disrespect intended. And so this is what we have. So the person that didn't make any attempt to show you love, to show appreciation, or to value you like the divine queen, uh, divine king that you were, um, this is what you chose to do. And not only did you, you know, leave that ass, but you, you transformed. We just had a song that had rebirth in it. Um, what was the name of that song? It said the new rebirth. It's uh, been a long time. So it's been a long time th since this person has seen you in your power. And now look what they're doing up in their head. This is like, you know, suffering from mental anguish. And this person is also suffering from deep regret, remorse. And it's because now you see them, you peeped game and you're no longer falling for the okie doke. You're no longer falling for their old trickery. I feel like even if this was you blind to the fact you're blind, baby. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's that old public enemy. So <laughs> you're blind to the fact. <laughs> but this is what you were. This is like self-imposed, though, because you could easily wiggle your hands and, and like remove the blindfolds. But I feel like, as I said, some of them red flags y'all ignored. But eventually when you got it, it was like, aha, 
You know what I'm saying? And you ended things, walked away. This is you not only transforming, but emerging someone completely different. Someone who's now on the frequency, someone who's vibrating higher, someone who's highly intuitive, someone highly clairvoyant, someone that does not fall for the okie doke because you could see now somebody is having all of this regret, remorse, anxiety, and shame because you've walked away. You chose your own path. You're no longer trapped. You're no longer thinking you're trapped. You're no longer feeling stuck and stagnant because you have since freed yourself you've made a decision to walk away you chose yourself you chose to leave a situation that had you feeling stuck so next we have the devil we have the six of pentacles we have the ace of pentacles and then we have contract and relationship change so someone is leaving a volatile connection where I feel like they again were being breadcrumbed along because you see that here somebody's just giving you bits and pieces of themselves and that's why this contract is here because the jig is up game over go play with somebody else you know what I'm saying matter of fact don't play with nobody else go play with yourself <laughs> go play with your children how about that go play with your children but this is that energy this is that that gaslighter this is somebody that's very deceitful this is somebody that's a trickster this is somebody that just talks because they have lips. Somebody just speaks with a forked tongue. This is someone possessive. Someone that literally is jealous, envious, doesn't want to see you win, doesn't want to see you shine, doesn't like when good things happen to you. This is the person that tries to steal your joy. They're a thief of joy, thief of happiness. They're energy vampires. This is this toxicity. And that's why the jig is up. That's why the contract is up. This could be you walking away from a relationship or some sort of um, some sort of bondage, some sort of connection like a karmic relationship connection is something that ties you or binds you to that person, whether it's a marriage, whether it's children, whether it's even common law, you didn't even have to have like physical paperwork, but just being in a common law marriage and living with somebody beyond five, 10 years, it's like you start to intertwine finances, bills, your names are starting to get on credit reports together like it, there's a lot of entanglements and so I feel like here is showing that there's an end to that because there's a relationship change someone is parting ways someone's leaving another person behind and a lot of it is because they was getting breadcrumbed you know what I'm saying I feel like the divine is definitely you know giving you um I feel like this is karmic justice also like spirit is literally like giving you some sort of karmic justice um I also feel like spirit is also aligning you with someone that is on your frequency that's going to be better suited for you and we have um Sun Ra and we have nuclear war so there's definitely some sort of divorce battle I feel somebody is going through some sort of nasty divorce with a narcissist or with somebody who's trying to control everything including the finances this is someone that doesn't want to give someone anything like they just like giving them bits and pieces like somebody's asking for alimony somebody's asking for child support and it's like somebody's going to realize or find out that a child isn't theirs and it's like almost like whatever they was doing is going to be like it's going to be blown up it's going to be revealed and this ace of pentacles is showing a brand new financial blessing a brand new offer this could even be somebody coming in wanting to commit this is somebody wanting to give wanting to give to a situation and you see this this three of wands they come in quickly i feel like once this cycle here wraps up with whatever this deem you know this demon seed <laughs> this devil is that's when all this new because it's like somebody is almost getting rewarded because they just dealing with something so na this is nasty this is volatile like this is nasty like you, you, you like all the way to the end you just gonna be an asshole right you you just you just want to be an asshole all the way to the end of the connection like you just want to be nasty this is just nasty for no reason but look what the the divine is coming through with this ace this ace of Pentacles for all of your trouble <laughs> because you had to deal with that volatile individual let me just go ahead and just give you a little bit of this con copia and this this abundance you know what i'm saying this is for your hard work and your effort and that's like beautiful blessings like y'all are being rewarded because i feel a lot of you scorpios have been doing the work you haven't been just talking you haven't been just talking so let's see what else we're gonna do how many minutes in the reading are we we got 137 okay i'm gonna get some messages from goddess guidance and then we're gonna wrap it up all right so my beautiful, beautiful big people, let's see what we got. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? We have Rhiannon. So you got Rhiannon, and remember, you also have the, ma the um, man in the mirror, or the magician in the mirror, excuse me. So this does show that you are the alchemist, that you are manifesting something real. And I feel like it's, it's like, you know, it's because of 
you know, what you've been through, the battles, the wars, you know, it's been through, you've been through hell and high water, you know, you've been through a lot. But I also feel like because you've been through a lot, you know more. You know what I'm saying? You now know more. You now are more um, in tune. You now know how to to read into situations as well. You're more intuitive. You're more trusting of your intuition. So what do we have on the split? So we have start delegating, green tower. So a lot of you guys could be juggling because we did see that two of pentacles where you were juggling a lot on your own. So I do feel like you're dealing with a lot of responsibilities. Um, you know, if you are dealing with narcs, covert narcs, they don't believe in being parents. They will use the parents as hostage. I mean, the children as hostage or as pawns um, to make your life miserable, but they will never step up and do their, do, uh, their you know, uh, parenting duties. So it will feel like you are a single parent. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel for a lot of you all, you're carrying a lot of not only just the day-to-day -day, um, responsibilities, but even the financial responsibilities all on your own. And Spirit is really saying, like, look, start delegating. It is not just your responsibility solely. I know a lot of you all choose to do it on your own so you don't have to interact um, with that other parent. And if that's the case, you know, you know what you need to do. But for some of you, if you don't have such a volatile relationship with the other parent, um, you know, perhaps you need to speak more, speak up more about what you need, express yourself. Scorpios could be very proud. Um, you know, at times, like if they're going through things, they may not really, um, reveal to everyone what they're going through. They kind of go through whatever they're going through privately and they work themselves, they work out of it. But I feel like spirit is saying, look, you, you are overwhelmed, overpressed. Like you got too much going on and you do need to delegate because that also is a show and a sign of self-love and self-care. Okay, so love yourself. Remember, self-care is also about taking care of yourself. So this card wants to fly out. So we have leap of faith. And so somebody is absolutely going to jump out there. I feel like this is somebody who may have had some sort of um, fears, maybe intimidation. Maybe they didn't know how to communicate, emote. Maybe they are, you know, fearful of being uh, vulnerable. But I feel like somebody is definitely going to take that um, leap of faith. They're going to put themselves out there and they're going to come towards you with a message of love. Um, and this is somebody that is absolutely like your twin flame, your soulmate. Um, we have Keith Sweat playing I Wanna. So somebody definitely wants you. So that's why they're willing to to take that leap of faith. This is somebody that's just going to put themselves out there because you are this person's like true desire. Like they really have a lot of passion for you, a lot of love. Um, and I feel like this person has not expressed it or emoted and they're going to surprise you. Okay. So let's see, why is individuality here? Um, 17 action and the 10 of wands. I just saw sacred space. So I do feel like, as I said, a lot of y'all was receiving divine downloads and interventions, spending time in front of your altars or your sacred spaces, whether that's a favorite lawn, uh, lake, pond, river, ocean, uh, maybe a favorite nature, um, trail, um, just your favorite outer um, outside setting or n nature setting um, there was a lot of downloads a lot of divine interventions um, but also even if you're just you know utilizing that time in front of your altars uh, connecting with your deities your angels your ancestors your spirit team I feel like that also um, kind of provided you um, that what that wise dome that you needed so that you can make the right decisions so we have mama Ma'at here so as I said a wish fulfillment coming in action being taken and I feel it's because like when you plant in you know your seeds and good faith it's like whatever you plant or however you plant your seeds whether in good faith or whether volatilely or negatively or um, you know just just maliciously it's like you go you gonna reap what you sow and I feel like mama my aunt she has everyone's address and she sees you know the burdens you know that's why you know delegate was here because it was like you it was like closed mouths don't get fed but mama my aunt is here to balance everything out to restore the balance someone likes what they see because they see that whatever you've been through like it didn't break you you know what I'm saying? It made you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So you've grown. It's like the growing pains and it's making you attractive because not only did you, you know, survive this, but you also were able to rebuild, you know, you were able to rebuild, you were able to, um, you know, find that structure, that balance, uh, which is always key. So now there's like, 
something is going to happen in your favor. I feel like Mama Ma'at is blessing you with something. Um, and it's, it's, it's something that's good. I feel like, you know, Shaka Khan already kind of like, you know, alluded to the fact that you had good news and we already see this abundance and we see Carnucopia and we also saw that you had the, uh, Ace of Pentacles there. Uh, so those are always, um, you know, good signs of, of blessings and rewards. Uh, we have don't back down here. And this is, uh, we are about to clarify the surrender nine one. And then we have 36 second chakra. Uh, and then we have the, the world. So this is showing your, your fierce, your fierceness, you know, your fearlessness. Um, you know, fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. And I feel like you looked in the face of your adversities. You stood in the face of the adversities. You stood perpendicular in your square and you confronted whatever the problems, the issues were. And I feel like instead of getting distracted by those distractions, you just stood stronger. You stood even taller. And I feel like that's why this world card is here because it's like you, you pass the test with flying colors. And that's why blessings are coming in. So you standing up for yourself and what you believe is right is the reason why you know, that the divine is acknowledging, like you, you've surrendered the need to control things and you just stood up for what you believed. And that's why there's blessings coming in. So divine spirit, why is, um, 91 surrender Archangel Ariel and the world card here for my beautiful Scorpios. We have a message of love and light divine spirit. Why is surrender Archangel Ariel? Thank you, spirit. See that boundaries. So creating healthy boundaries, learning how to say no, not allowing anyone to demand your time, your energy, and just, you know, literally standing up for yourself. This two right here, the second chakra is about self-care. And so when you set up boundaries, that's a show and a sign of self-care. That's you not allowing anyone to overstep those boundaries that you've set for yourself because you've already been there, did that. And right now we have... Um, uh, Yarborough and Peoples, and this is called Don't Stop the Music. So yeah, so for some of you all, you too could be artists, you too could be clairaudient. Um, I feel like this also is showing like you didn't stop, um, you know, at all in this process. Like you never stopped, you never gave up, you never surrendered to, you know, that person. You know, like after you you were um, you discovered who this individual was, how toxic they were. It's like you didn't stop, you didn't look back, you didn't stop, you kept going. You you like bolted yourself up out of there. Like you is like this horse. Like you was out of there. Like <laughs> you was out of there. So you didn't stop until you look at this cycles and rhythms. I, I can't make this up. So you honored those cycles and rhythms of your heart. You knew when something was done. Because because it's just like you can feel it. Like I said, energy is transferable. Energy doesn't lie. And when you started to pick up on someone's energy, you knew something was done, done, fin. And you started to create those boundaries. And I feel like that's ultimately what led to you, you know, ending that chapter. And it's because you trusted in the cycles and the rhythms of your own body. So you trusted what you were feeling intuitively because you are the alchemist and you're tapped and tuned in. You are the star. So you already know balance is key. It's necessary. And that's what I feel has opened up to you or revealed to you what your spiritual purpose is, what your calling is, what your life path is. And it's because you are connected. There's a connectedness. Didn't I say that too is the high priestess and here she is. So we're about to clarify, look, personal growth. So you've grown to this level of, you know, spiritual um, power, you know, where you are very much, um, the keeper, you know, of like ancient wisdom, you have divine knowledge, divine wisdom, and your divine wisdom is what you can help other people with, you know, you can help other individuals through their own, you know, circumstances, through your own teachings, through your personal experiences. And with this, don't, you, don't, um, don't stop. It's like with don't stop. It's like, you're not stopping anymore. You're not, I heard you're not conforming to anyone else. You're making a decision. You're choosing you. You're choosing the light. You're choosing the right path. You know, you're choosing the path that's meant for you. And we have sensitivity here. So many of you started to grow very sensitive to some of the relationships, sensitive to some of the information, sensitive to people, sensitive to circumstances. It's like you got to trust what you feel. You know, maybe some of you all are sensitive and you could feel you started to pick up on another woman or another man's presence. 
You know what I'm saying? Energetically, you just started to feel somebody was just acting different, doing the least for you, you know, which means they was doing the most for someone else, which is why we got this energy of like, you know, the devil and this, you know, six of pentacles where someone's being breadcrumbed. So I feel like that sixth sense, that sensitivity is like you tapping in because you're already on that high priestess vibration. So you're the keeper of ancient wisdom. And I feel like that's ultimately which led to you ending something because you de you detected something that was wrong. You detected something. So spirit, why is um, 88 abundance, 11 carnucopia, and the queen of wands here? May I have a message of love and of light? These cards want to fall out and I'm going to let them. And so we have Bridget, don't back down. So like I said, this is you being fearless. You know, this is you facing your fears you know not backing down from anything you know regardless of who it is or what it is this is like you confronting everything that is not um you know you're you're you're, you're confronting what doesn't work for you you know confronting the people you know the ops confronting circumstances that you feel isn't serving your highest good you know maybe there was some sort of you know, third party that was like coming at you. And maybe some of y'all was just on some, I'm not entertaining that, you know what I'm saying? But maybe you needed to, to, con to, you know, to go head to head with this person because maybe it revealed something, you know, maybe you all confronted your fear of, you know, dealing with that narc, dealing with that person that was like emotionally manipulative and I feel because you didn't back down and you confronted whatever that fear was or confronted whatever that was that was kind of blocking you, um, that's why you're having some sort of blessing and reward because you defied the odds. It's like you, you know, you persevered through something very painful, very, this is like, you know, that, that queen of wands could be very controlling, very persistent. They could have that, you know you know, very fiery type of personality, but I feel like you didn't back down from it, whether this was, you know, a feminine energy or a masculine energy, whoever it was, I feel like you had a vision for yourself because we got Mariah Carey vision of love. So I feel like you had a vision and you didn't let go of that vision. And that's how you were able to achieve your goals. Um, even this is you fighting for whatever that vision is, you know, whatever that dream, whatever that passion is, you didn't back down. Even when you have people saying you'll never amount to nothing. Oh, that ain't going to take off. You ain't going to blow up. You ain't going to make no money from that. You can't do that. You ain't got enough money. Nobody want to hear you. Nobody want to listen to you. You that, you know what I'm saying? You can't do this. You can't do whoever those individuals were, those naysayers, it's like, you you defied the odds and now look at this the vision that you had for yourself it's 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 like it's already manifesting and producing fruit you know what i'm saying you got this carnucopia here this is like blessings upon blessings man and so you got bright future in, infinite supply look at that mama lakshmi is here saying that you deserve all of the blessings that you have look at infinite supply flew out i didn't even see this and here it is so you have an infinite supply because you have successfully closed a chapter. You have evolved. You have emerged someone new. You have transformed your way of thinking, doing things, your behavior, your habits. You're seeing the world with a whole new lens, like you're completely different. And now you are truly tapped in. And spirit is telling you because you've done your due diligence, your work, you are going to be supplied for today and all of your tomorrows there's nothing to worry about mama lakshmi is also saying stop worrying everything is working out in your favor so you are really blissed and i feel it's because you really did the work and whoever you was dealing with is going to be really perturbed because they're going to see you get blissed even when they was trying to block your blessings you're still going to be bliss why is 56 contract the devil six of pentacles and the ace of pentacles here Look at that. So you got somebody on your tail because you're you're blissed, you're blissed beyond measure. Like spirit is showering you. Now spirit is showing off because it's like it's like spirit is really wanting your enemies, your haters, your frenemies to really see you shine. Shine bright like a diamond. Like this is it. And it's like once you part ways, all of this can come in. Cuz this person was blocking this. This person here this old hateful, jealous, envious ass person, they was trying to block this. 
That's why like spirit was saying, look, you got to you got to release the past. You got to walk through the door so you, you a new chapter could open. But this is what you had to do first and foremost was you had to end that karmic cycle. That's why completion showed up. You had to complete that because that was not serving your highest good at all. This person was an enemy. You was behind enemy lines. Some of y'all was sleeping with the enemy. Some of y'all was sleeping with somebody who was sleeping with mistresses, triangulating you, dealing with incubus, succubus energy. But this is what this person is really trying to hold on to you for. This is why this person is really sitting here with deep regrets, because they're going to have to sit back and watch you enjoy all of this with your new family, with your new partner, with your new boo, with your new wife, with the new twin flame soulmate so they're going to be really perturbed because it's like you're being blissed upon blessings and it's because you showed a lot of strength courage and wisdom throughout this process you have grown therefore you res you deserve a reward you need to get your asses outside go take a nature walk go connect go ground yourselves you know what I'm saying? Some of you all have been stuck in the house, just sitting around, twiddling your thumbs, watching TV. You need to unplug, disconnect from all of that and go outside and breathe some of that fresh air. If it's too hot, go out there later after the sunrise and just walk, walk around your neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Walk around, you know, even before the sun comes up fully. It's not as hot in the a.m., early in the a.m. as it is, you know, later on in the afternoon. But this is your beautiful reading, Scorpios. I hope that the message has resonated. Um, I thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in. If some of you are not getting my notifications, just check the bell, um, you know, disenable it and then re-enable it and make sure you do that just so that you know whenever I upload because I have been receiving a lot of complaints that you're not getting the notification that I'm uploading so a lot of you are like I haven't even heard from you in two months and I'm like two months boo boo I've been putting um, messages out for a while so just tap and tune in do that um, for every anyone that may be interested I have a uh, relaunched my Etsy shop um so you know go check it out browse around see what you like um but I thank you all so much for just showing love for tapping in tuning in as I said if you are new I hope you found messages that resonated if you are returning you already know what it is beloveds love is love is love until next time I want to say a big fat ashe and I want to also say thank you to all of you who have sent super chats and also to everyone that has sent cash app um, donations. Thank you, my soul sister. I remember you said you don't like uh, your name being shouted out, so I won't do that. But I just want to say thank you, beloved, for, you know, just the gesture. I rotate that love infinitely to you. Until next time, my beautiful loves. Love you all. Peace. Ah, shit. <laughs>